guys, Francis here, and today I'm back, just back on my channel to tell you about my United States trip. Okay, so the first state that I went to was Texas, and I can say that Texas is one of the most sunniest states I've ever been to in the United States, similar to California, which I will talk to later in my um, next vlog and next video. So yeah, Texas, it reminds me of the Philippines. It's sunny, it's warm, and it's legit. The shopping malls are something like I wouldn't be able to see in here because the infrastructure of the shopping malls are very close to a Spanish or European theme because they're painted as a beige or yellowy type of color and they are very extremely clean as well as modern. So yeah, Texas. I love Texas. Uh, it's just really legit. <laughs> so yeah, Texas. We've been shopping. Having a bit of fun, and of course, I was with my family friends. Yes, I will not say who they are, but... So, yeah, I was able to see them, and spend my time with them, and at least bring back the memories that were spent here in the United Kingdom, although... Describable. But there you go. So, after going to Texas, I then went to a state which is close to uh, Texas, or in conjunction to Texas, and that was Houston. Yeah, Houston. And uh, the place where we were going to was um, my family friend's cousin, so we were there to just like say hi and have a bit of fun and that, just subjected to going to the San Antonio Mall specifically. And going in there, we were uh, looking around, having a bit of fun. Of course, the uh, mall was under maintenance, so there were a bit of a uh, disruption there. Speaking of the river walk, it was kinda romantic in a way because it was night time and um, the lights were nicely illuminated and um, there was a bit of comedy there because the uh, tour that we had was a Mexican and of course Mexicans are quite funny to be uh, honest. But yeah, that's that's the river walk, and um, I was able to see things that in the uh, in the dark. And funny thing though, it is it, it it can be a bit romantic when you see the footages. Like it's quite dark, but uh, and also it's quite smooth. So it's quite calm and relaxed to just sail across the river, seeing everything of uh, San Antonio, especially the history, such as the statues and some landmarks that I don't know very well, but you get the idea of that, and yeah, I liked it. Even though it was just a boat ride, but there's something more to it. You get to see something in a different uh, perspective. So yeah, it's pretty legit, <laughs> but yeah, so... After my uh, time in San Antonio, we went back to my uh, family friend's uh, brother. We then, of course, had a sleepover there, and then uh, early in the morning we left the house and headed straight to Houston. Over to this fast food, and I was so excited to see this. The fast food is obviously Filipino, and so if I were to describe you the person, that represents the company. And this person is portrayed as a mascot and um, it's a he. he. has similar characteristics of Mickey Mouse. So yellow shoes and white gloves and wears a red blazer and a black and blue tie. And mainly he is red and yellow. Not black and yellow but red and yellow and he wears a chef hat. And if you want to know what he really looks like, then be Jollibee. 
So yeah, Jollibee. Nagyayaya ang iti, di na nga mapakali. Halika na, tara na, doon na nga ang punta. Labas lahat ng ipin, sumasayaw sa tuwa. Ganyan ang feeling kapag bida ang saya. Bida tayo, bida tayo, saan bida ang bata? Sa Jolly, bida tayo, mas matunog, mas masaya. As we ordered the food, and um, we ordered like 7, 12 pieces, I'm assuming. Tired of eating chicken on its own, I also had spaghetti. This spaghetti is much cheesier, much meatier, and much more delicious than a spaghetti that I would eat elsewhere in the world. Uh, it's just... Uh... Okay, so after that we had our dessert which was the ice cream sundae and we had a flavor um, that was pronounced in a way that was kind of weird. It was caramel but a friend of, a family friend of mine asked the uh, employee who worked there they asked what flavor they were gonna add and we called it a kabayan uh, the kabayan said in this funny accent <laughs> And so this is how she said it. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but we don't have any other flavors, but we do have two flavors. Strawberry and caramel. Caramel? That's what she said, but caramel. Do you know what that is? I don't, but who says caramel? Caramel? That's what she said. She just said it. That word, caramel. Yep, caramel. I'm very ashamed. And so when she shared it back to us, my family friend, in the middle of my spaghetti meal, unfortunately, I heard a bit of giggle, and then I heard, I heard laughing. I was still eating my spaghetti until I heard someone says, "Caramel." <laughs> my mom started laughing as loud as she could, and it made my family friend laugh, and then it made my friend laugh, and then it made me laugh. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, we all stopped eating our jelly meal and then ended up laughing at nothing but just one word, just one word. <laughs> and that simply was scary. <laughs> Honestly. So at the end of the day, after eating jelly we all went to NASA and in front of the park, I saw what seems to be the retired variant of the Boeing 747 carrying one of the NASA rocket fleet and to be honest it was quite big because I'm never up close to a jumbo jet especially a Boeing yeah because I'm usually in front of a landing so we got into the attraction and um, of course the first you know the first thing that we I went to rather with the Jumbo Jet, the Boeing 747, and of course the the jet itself was modified and of course refurbished before retirement, but it was modified for of course the uh, preservation, so it had parts that were half open and uh, exposed to show how it worked in that variant, and the models of the I think airport that they had to like line up the rocket on top of the plane very cool and uh, I didn't have the footage of that but I think I have a picture of it I don't know but it's there and uh, I also saw videos 
documentary stuff. I didn't want to watch them because, you know. And of course, I <laughs> I saw the rocket, the inside of the rocket. It's okay. It's not something fascinating for me, but for you, you would find it fascinating if you are a space enthusiast. So, yeah, and then that was NASA. And then on my last day, we went to an outdoor shop, or a shop that's called the Texas Great American Outdoor Store. Yeah, it's a very long name as I'm reading it. So, in that store there is lots of things that you would find uh, in a forest, I guess, if you are a camper, or fisherman, and or a huntsman, that's what it was. So, you would find dead animal parts, like part of the deer heads on a wall, and of course dead animals playing, that you would find up in the ceiling, and then some mounted on the wall, like fishes and birds. And then I saw a big tank in front of me, like literally from the entrance to the end of the uh, store was uh, looks to be a fishing tank and next to the fishing tank right on my left side there's this big giant bear almost six and a half feet tall it was big it's fluffy it looked like it was alive <laughs> but yeah a bear and uh, yeah, I didn't really find it that interesting for me, but I decided to walk around and take a few footages of dead animal. And I would say to myself that why not enjoy it? So I did enjoy it and walked around. I even tried out mailboxes that were shaped like a fish. And yeah, <laughs> it's really, it's, it's not my thing, but at least you get to enjoy the Americanized version of outdoor adventures, I guess. And, yeah, pretty much it. And then, after that, I was like the last day. And then we flew over to San Francisco. So, after watching this video, what do you think of my first American vlog? Of course, I will be uploading more vlogs where I went to the United States and if you like this video give it a like <laughs> subscribe for more content and of course comment down below of where you've been to the United States and whether you want to live there or you want to go back there and yeah see you in the next video